when they were younger, my kids referred to us as the toy police, uh, which we affectionately call ourselves as well. I think a consumer assumes when they walk into a store that the products they're looking at are safe, and that's where we come in. Anything that could potentially harm consumers, my job is to stop it here. We're co-located with CBP, Customs and Border Protection, at the ports. We make sure these products are safe and are not going to harm children, loved ones, or their home. We review incoming merchandise, you know, based on what's listed on the manifest and the shipping lines. Um, we decide what shipment might be the highest risk and what we really want to take a look at. We bring the merchandise into a, a warehouse. They strip out the whole big container and then we go through that merchandise and we open up the boxes, we see what's inside. Now if that's toys and children's products, we're screening for lead, we're screening for small parts, we're screening for certain labeling requirements. And then we try to decide if it's something that we need to test further, if it's something that might be hazardous, if it's something that we cover, and we think you know, may look like it poses a little bit of a hazard, then we'll go ahead and we'll do some screening and some testing here at the port. Unfortunately, when we're screening products, we still see lead. Um, that's lead in paint, lead in content. When you go out and you buy a toy for your child, for the most part, you're thinking that this is something that is gonna be fun and that your child is gonna like, and you shouldn't have to worry that it's gonna harm them. It's easy to be passionate about our job because we keep people safe. We all go to the store. We all have, you know, families. My kids play with toys all the time. <laughs> Most of us are consumers. Most of us are parents. It's a rewarding job in that you know for a fact that you are preventing injuries and you're preventing house fires and kids from getting hurt. We want to make sure that you're not going somewhere paying your good hard-earned money and then you bring home a junk product that's going to end up hurting you and your family.